Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from the Foot Market, and I thought I would bring you guys because it is a new month uh, on the second channel. I don't know why I say, yo, it's Nick from the Foot Market. You guys know who it is, alright? It's not fucking Rob from like, I don't know, dude. Alright, it's Nick. How you guys doing? Um, I want to bring you guys a video talking about new foot swap deals. Uh, the best money for value this month, and just the deals in general, like if they're good, if they're bad. Um, let me know in the comments down below how many... How many of the deal items are you guys going for? And like, what combination are you going for? So, uh, real quick, last month I saved all my tokens. I wanted to get Moose Dembele because I'm a Spurs fan. And that was 14 tokens. So, I missed out on one because I had something with a video and I didn't get to do the token. So, I only ended up getting 12 or 11. I got lucky. Quincy Promo's got an upgrade. So, I ended up getting Quincy done. And that was really worth it. That was only like six tokens last month. So, I got that live item. And that's why for me, you guys should always save your tokens till the end of the month. That's probably the best scenario for any of you guys who are doing foot swap always save the tokens for the end of the month so let's talk about this month what are the best deals what's not the best deals so we start off with the first one exchange four foot swap items from team of the week batch y now batch y on the market we're gonna take a price look at his price on the market he is worth uh he is worth like 20k i would assume 30k it's 30 000 coins right now on the market um that's for four tokens i mean it's not it's not the worst thing ever this right here though, this is this is a huge deal. This guy to me is a big deal. Um, I think this is big. Uh, this is a really good card. This is a six foot one center back, Brazilian playing for Roma, 82 pace, 84 defending, 87 physical, insane statistics, and he's low high. That's I like medium high on center backs, but low high means all this guy is gonna do is defend. He's not gonna push forward. He's gonna be a defender for your team. So I like this a lot. Um, a lot going on there that I that I enjoy. 83 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. 77 agility, which for a center back is very, very solid. 84 interceptions with 93 jumping. 93 aggression and 86 strength as well. So there's a lot to like here, right? This guy is really good. He's got good reactions, really good composure for a center back. I don't really see a flaw with this card. Um, and I think it is weak in league usable. This is one of the first foot swap deals that I have looked at and said, wow, you could actually use this guy in weak in league. There is a lot going on here. And I think if you use him with a, I would personally put a shadow on him. What's his acceleration? It's not bad though, man. I, I, if I were you guys, I'd put a shadow on this guy. You could probably do an anchor. That makes him a 90 rated center back. A shadow makes him an 89, but he's going to be faster. If you did an anchor, he's going to look like this. He's going to be probably feeling very similar to Joe Gomez, uh, SBC. But this card is raw, man. I'm, I, I'm stoked with this card. This guy looks sick. This is going to be the deal, so you guys know, this is going to be one of the deals that this month I am going for. I'm going to be going for this card this month. Um, six six uh, tokens. What I would say is towards the end of the month, obviously six tokens is going to take some people probably a week or two to get to, at least a week, a week and a half. Then people will start getting him early, in my opinion, because he is the best option this month. What you guys should start to look at and look look out for is Florenzi's Road to the Final card. Manolis is in form. You're going to start seeing a lot of people, in my opinion, use the link to this guy. And that's going to create a big, big price increase. When, Whenever in FootSwap we have a usable card that people can go easily get and stock them in the teams, what they do is they start buying cards off the market that link to it. So in my opinion, a lot of people are going to be buying uh, cards that link to Juan Jesus and Florenzi would be the best version of it. Um, also, you've also got a strong link to Alexandro at left back. This for me, guys, is a no-brainer. If you guys are a guy really who only plays a few games a month, you should be getting six FootSwap tokens. Go ahead and unlock him. That's an amazing, amazing thing. Then for seven, you can get the rare mega pack, which I don't like the packs, man. I just don't. I like you guys getting a guaranteed player value in your club. I don't think the packs are that worthwhile. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of the packs. Then for eight tokens, you can get Steven Zuber, who is a left back in the Bundesliga. Um, this guy is really good. I used him at center mid last year sometimes as a sub. Uh, he's good, man. He's he's all around really, really solid. He's high, high, which for a left back is unbelievable. High, high is sick. Um some, so for some reason, man, Bundesliga seems to be the foot swap token. Everybody, all these cards are Bundesliga. Now, I think that this is not a bad value. I think if you uh, have a Bundesliga team, this guy is actually a pretty good card. Um, the only thing that his flaw really is, is that his reactions are not the best and his jumping is low. But other than that, he's got a lot going for him. And this guy for me is honestly like six foot high, high. I would just toss this guy at center mid, man, if I switched in game. But I don't know if he's worth eight tokens. When you compare him to Juan Jesus at six... For me, Juan Jesus is the way better option in terms of like efficiency-wise of spending your tokens in a proper way. Um, I think Juan Jesus definitely beats out Zuber for me in terms of like 
yeah i mean being efficient other guy i would look at this guy is interesting because he's in the la liga i believe he is uh i don't know anything about this player but he's medium high and he's six foot three so as a cdm that's insane medium high work rates is perfect and six foot three as a lone cdm or in a two cdm formation this guy is a beast four star weak foot is really good uh three star skills obviously if you're a skiller he's not going to be killing it 92 stamina with 88 strength 85 aggression uh 89 heading accuracy 87 there's there's too many stats here to like about this card um the only thing you you probably won't like is that agility and balance so if you are gonna go pick this card up this month uh i would very highly suggest if you are gonna go get this card this month guys uh, i would very i would very highly suggest that you probably put something like an engine on him you want to do something to get his dribbling up you need to get this uh agility and balance boosted like crazy i don't know what you guys got to do to do that but you guys got to put a chem style on him that that definitely increases that statistic you need that to be increased um and you need to increase it to the max so you got to figure it out guys but that's what you got to use um engine is probably the way to go uh for that card in my opinion because the agility and the balance is the only thing at the end of the day that's going to hurt that card um yeah and then for 12 you could get a 100k pack again i don't recommend this i don't like it for 14 you can get Della few which is interesting to me i don't know if i love this i i think for 14 it's a good gig um it, the, it's four star four star right that's really good he's a righty on the right side which right now in this meta is going to be good it's not really all about the cutting and the finesse anymore um 95 pace on the face stat cards on the face stat with 90 shooting no 90 dribbling 84 dribbling 84 shooting so it's good he's really fast 96 acceleration with 98 agility that combination is crazy so when you get this card if you're gonna do all 14 you don't have to upgrade the pace just upgrade the shooting because for me the problem with this card lies that two things i would use a finisher on him because his finishing is garbage it's not garbage 82 finishing is not garbage it's just not great his curve is really good his penalties are everything is really good finishing and composure right here are really really low um and i'm not crazy about those two stats being so low stamina is 76 which is not great but the strength is also 58 so if you guys are going ahead and you're getting this card you got it for me guys this card needs a finisher 100 percent. you need to put a finisher on this guy i don't really think there's another chem style i would even be close to recommending um with a finisher he goes up to an 89 winger which is really good his finishing is gonna go to an 87 his strength is gonna go to 60 it's still not great though that's kind of what i'm trying to tell you guys like even with that chem style adjustment even when you add that he's still not like amazing you still have other options even though the face stats on this card do increase a lot i still think there is other options that you guys can go for instead of this guy it's a tough one it's definitely a tough one guys i know that i know that you guys are not sure and i don't think this guy is worth it this month to grind for i just don't i think there's i know the right mid in the prem is a little bit limited and i understand that that's why they've probably brought out a right mid in the prem but i think with if you get all 14 you're better getting off like zuber and Juan Jesus, in my opinion, that's just how I feel. I think that you're better off getting Jesus and Zuber in your team, or just to have rather than that one Della Field card. Even though this would be deemed from you guys, or you guys like to say it's a flex a little bit. If you get all 14 tokens, it's a flex. But for me, I, I think that Zuber's Zuber and Juan Jesus. My favorite one out of everything this month is this Juan Jesus. I think you gotta be trying to get this Juan Jesus. You you have to do the bare minimum to get this. You guys are gonna see this card everywhere too, and that's why I think you guys should look at the market look at stuff around this card uh after this month because not after this month but as we get halfway into this month because this is so accessible to everyone only six tokens is like nothing um it's nothing it's really not hard to achieve the ones right now that you can get i don't even know if there's any there's not really any there's one in weekly objective win four rivals matches by two goals uh play 15 online matches and then score twice in 10 wins this week so that's a lot of a grind you've already got one for free um and then yeah my biggest tip to you guys for this month and something that i saw a lot of people that did last month that probably regretted it save your tokens don't put your tokens in halfway through the month obviously we don't have a ones to watch this month but just for you guys man it's smart for me to tell you just to hold them till the end of the month you guys have till the end of the month to decide don't be in a rush to go get a player unless he's your favorite player ever because last month everybody put their tokens in early and then they didn't go get the quincy promos and they were like dude what the hell man i, I didn't get my quincy promos all that so like people were pissed off um they didn't get quincy promise so that's gonna be the uh that's gonna be the analysis for this month guys i think your best option if you're gonna get all 14 is zuber and jesus best overall not even close is jesus um that's not even close to me guys you really don't have to do that much to get these tokens so make sure if you do have five make sure with a week left that you're, you're trying to focus on getting that six because this is very accessible that one jesus 
And yeah, that, that's all I would say today. I don't think this guy is really that worth it. I think he's good. It's a good card, but I think nationality, you're only going to be using this card in a La Liga team. You can't really link this with anyone else. Only one you can link it with is Aspas, but you have to probably like convert him to a center mid or something to get it get messy in my opinion. So I think that that guy's not a send for me. Um, and yeah, so that, that's, that's what we got going on for this month, guys. I'm never a pack guy. I'm always a player guy. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys are going to go for. That's probably what I'm going for this month. And uh, yeah, I, it's not a great month for foot swap. I was hoping we'd get a lot better players, but I guess maybe they'll start to make them really good around team of the season time. We'll start to get really better as we get closer to that. Thank you guys for watching the video today, and I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace out.